A co-production of Van Gogh's Ear and Sandy Duncan's Eye. A co-production of Van Gogh's Ear and Nick Fury's Eye. Audiovisual series, Tough Luck, Helen Keller. How to use classroom films, a substitute teacher's guide to substitute teaching. How to use classroom films as what, a cleaning agent? You show them to the students. The room lights are dimmed. The projector is running. The teacher is hungover. The projector is running. The class is defunded. The projector is running. The natives the are getting restless. A setting for use of a very effective teaching tool. The paddle. Captain well America is telling these kids about detention. With, like all magnets, it has a north pole and a south pole. Hey, where's OP, Q, and R? Like all magnets, it has a north pole and a south pole. Norm of versus song of. Whoever wins, we lose. The coil of wire around it. Wire? Okay, David Simon. It rotates until opposite poles are attracted to one another. You just need to reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. If we add the automatic switch to our diagram, it will look like this. Now let's add a kicky beret. Now, if we add the automatic switch to our diagram, it will look like this. But adding it'll cost an extra now, 75 the cents. Connected to the dry cell, the dry cell's connected to the... To the oh. Activities such as a post-film discussion. For your podcast. Without that automatic switch, the part called the commutator, the motor would make a complete revolution. Then where would Magic Mountain be? For a film, however good it may be, is still only a teaching tool. For instance, Die Hard taught me how to make business negotiations. Effective use of a film begins days, perhaps even weeks, prior to the showing. Then by the time you show it, the information is obsolete. The director of her local instructional material center can often provide helpful advice about which of several films in the same subject area will best suit the teacher's purpose. Do you want White House down or Olympus has fallen? Comments from previous users of a particular film, if they are available, are also helpful. The comments say, zero out of ten, just a bunch of virtue signaling. As they watch from a viewpoint which is different from yours. Literally, place the students around so they're all looking at the film from a different angle. Well, Billy, was there anything you didn't understand? Yes, your haircut. How about you, Mary? Any words you didn't understand? Well... You didn't understand the word well? Any words you didn't understand? Yeah, what did they mean when they said the film had a resume? Yeah, words like swell and so's your old man. Yeah, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Yeah, the difference between infer and imply. Of course, when the Great Plains were being settled in the 1850s and 1860s, the movie camera had not yet been invented. So all we have to go off is archives of the Cowboys' Snapchats. By the thorny hedge. They went the Maleficent way. Others tried just plain old wire. Are all these but films about wire? Just plain old wire. Bill, the Cattle wire. Children. Denzel Washington's fences didn't have this many fences. The West got its fencing. Boy, this but film sucks. Can we go watch Mystery Lodge instead? The cattlemen could separate their herds, introduce blooded stock. Not like that bloodless livestock. Better beef. Soon the Great Plains became a new land. The railroad. The Colt Revolver. She was a train. He was a gun. Could I make it any more obvious? Why didn't they build wooden fences? Karen? There wasn't any wood. She would have been shown on camera, too, if she had only started her sentence with, well. to find out why there was no wood available in the Great Plains area. Because they're plains. Homework done. Can I get an A-plus now? This will take some research. Because the film itself basically had no educational value. You team up with George, Bessie... Elaine and Frank on that question. There are many ways Whoa, to her voice film dropped. activities profitably. The objective should always be to use the film as a springboard to learning, understanding, and creating. So she's just never going to tell that one kid what a blooded stock means, huh? on a topic related to the film will help the student to form relations of ideas, concepts, and facts, and thereby provide creative learning experiences. I wish our school had more than one bookshelf. Nobody would ever suspect that behind that bookcase is the entrance to the bat cave. Any re proper arrangements for seating, lighting, ventilation, and placement of equipment. Why is Nicole Kidman talking about heartbreak feeling good in a place like this? The third point, class motivation. Uncle Owen, this class has a bad motivator. The showing of the film when the creative process is seemingly out of your hands and into your car. For student participation includes. What are they assigning roles for a shadow cast? And it is your contribution which is the single most important factor in using a classroom film. That's right. As teachers, we're not lazy when we show films. It's creative of us. Please don't cut our funding anymore.